This pretty good coverage is brought to you by Power Grip, the official retail partner of the European Pro Tour. Welcome back to MDG Media's coverage of the Turku Open 2023, sixth stop on the European Pro Tour. This is the exciting conclusion, final round, back nine, FPO lead card. Andrew Gum here. Very happy to relive this exciting event. There you see that leaderboard. Rachel, four strokes ahead of Tina. Silva just five back now after putting in a super hot four down on the front nine. Olivia and Yenny right behind her. Hole 10, beautiful par three. Uphill, 101 meters, tight gaps, low ceiling, very technical line, super rewarding feeling to get yourself out from the gaps and up towards the green. Playing pretty tough on the weekend. Today averaging 3.22. No birdies yet. Disc Golf Stream. Check them out for live coverage of all the European Pro Tour events as well as that European Championships coming up. You can also see the Finnish Nationals in Finnish language. Super good value for your buck. You can also watch that live coverage final round free on YouTube for all the events. That one catches up on the left side and knocks back into the middle. Main weapon of choice for Yenny is this feedback, and she works it nicely through the right side gap out into the open. She can give it a safe run from there. It's a little bit uphill. Would be a nice highlight birdie, the first of the weekend for anybody on this hole. This is slightly overturned. Kicks back a little bit. Should give her enough space to try to get up and down. Great up shot there from Tina. Patent pending stance from Olivia and a really nice touch on this. Lands it right by the basket. Great touch on that up shot. Tapping in for the par from Rachel. Yenny with an opportunity for the only birdie of the weekend on this hole. From circle two. Gets it up. And looked good. Just a little bit wide right side. Good effort there. After a really sweet drive. This course we're playing here. Is the Lua of Warren. Nice spot there from Yenny. Means Cave Mountain. Built on an old landfill site right in the heart of Turku. Beautiful views all around. Excellent course design. See Olivia tapping in for par there. Looking like a par frame. And yeah, it's going to be. But definitely a place you want to check out. Super fun course to play and a wonderful city for disc golf. So many good courses in the area. Lots of great players and culture. That does it for hole 10. Moving on to hole 11. Second easiest on the course at 3.56. It's a little bit downhill, par 4, 122 meters. Just got to get yourself through this gap off the tee. That should leave you with a pretty easy approach. Eagle is possible. You just get it just right. We've had some people with looks, but nobody's been able to quite connect yet.
Nice little power forehand from Rachel. It's the right side of the gap, but it kicks back to the middle. Backhand turnover line from Tina. A little heavy on the Anheuser. It's going to work out okay, though. It's that kind of hole that you can recover even with a bad tee shot and still get the birdie potentially if you're able to find some space to get up and down. Not much distance required. This one, way early on the turn, gets hung up there. Difficult stance here from Yenny. Showing some creativity. Nice touch, Heiser from the knee. Puts her up on the green. Good scramble. Olivia with a big high Heiser approach. Dropping it in on the green nicely. Similar spot to Yenny. About 60 left. It's a guardian tree up there on the green, and it squirrels out to circle two. Easy approach there from Rachel. She's so on point with that up game. Even herself. Not much work left. Dina comes up just short there. Hits the cage, got to settle for par, see if Yenny can dial her putt in, uh, just a little tense and leaves it low. Olivia for the birdie. Great putt. Easy three for Rachel. Hole 12, par 322 meters. Downhill touchy line. Gotta miss that tree on the left to begin with and then try not to hang it out too wide or these trees on the right side will come into play as it gets near the green. Really steep drop off here. Slow steady downhill and even more exaggerated on the green. Blind shot off the tee. Averaging right at par today. No birdies yet coming in. Really sweet move on this one from Rachel. Oh, almost skip aces it. Beautiful line. Inside circle one for the birdie look. Sweet move on that one. with a great looking move as well coming in towards the basket just a little bit short and left but circle's edge for birdie Yenny really really good shot skips in there on the green for a birdie look 
you see at the bottom of the screen another friendly reminder about MDG Media's Patreon account. Great way to help support what we're doing here. Genius putt, low right. Olivia from similar distance. Oh, right off the band. Good looking run. And he drops it in nicely for an excellent birdie. One down on the back nine for her. Rachel for just the second birdie of the day. Oh, solid putt. Banging it in. Three down for the round now after two consecutive birdies here on the back nine. And she is distancing herself from the pack. Six stroke lead, six stroke lead at the moment. We do have Silva Sarin and charging off the chase card, but she had quite a quite a bit of room to make up still. And the way Rachel's playing, it's it's not gonna be easy to catch her. Solid par there. And from Olivia as well. Two birdies, two pars. A round of disc golf can be long, and if you're playing in a tournament, it can feel like a marathon. This can leave you physically and mentally fatigued by the end when your shots matter most. With space for your discs, water, and even a place to sit, a cart enables you to bring what you need, helping you feel more prepared and energized without carrying the extra weight. This can help you maintain your edge and save you strokes through every round. Big thanks to Zuka for making great products and helping support. Great partnership, PDJ Europe. Sponsoring this hole, par 463 meters. Moving right to left, uphill with a lot of trees. Pretty technical tee shot. Best drives will clear this corner and leave themselves an open gap right around here. And there you see it. Strong dog leg right to left. Once you get out from the woods, it's pretty open. There is some OB behind and left side there. Another unique and beautiful hole here. This excellent course. This one averaging 4.11 today. We do have a birdie from Silva Sarinen there off the chase card so far. That one gets a unlucky kick off the tree and rolls pretty far down. So Rachel's gonna find herself out of position. Excellent drive there. putting a good move on this one and it's skipping right up there next to Yenny in the sweet spot two textbook drives here back to back see if Tina can follow that line she's swinging the feedback keeping it nice and low looking for that great skip and she's right there just on that inside line should have an opening to the green might be a little pinned up on a tree. Rachel just trying to get back into position. And she is out in the open. Should be able to save the par from there. Good recovery shot from Rachel. After a bit of an unlucky break. Yenny just lacing it through the gap. And parking it for birdie. Very well played on this one. Seems to have gotten out of the gap, but a fair bit of distance left to the pin. Olivia out through the gap. She'll have a look at it if she wants it. From deep in C2. Forehand approach from Rachel on point, as per usual. A 
I think Tina hits something, but it does get up there really close to the basket. Here's Olivia for that birdie. Bit short. And an absolute tap in birdie for Yenny after two perfect shots. And she's two down here on the back nine. Recovering very well after some struggles on the green there. Front nine. Nice to see her back in solid form. And a really excellent birdie. Everybody else just tapping in for par. Hole 14, par 3, 79 meters, downhill, got to get through this gap on the left side and then move quickly to the right, shapes up really nice for a forehand, of course this is a site for the now famous Anneli Togyas Manista double skip ace, if you haven't seen that yet, you must check it out, one of the wildest moments ever caught on camera in the disc golf world. get but playing harder than it seems 3.67 average on the day fourth most difficult which i find surprising i've not seen any birdies yet today any chopped down early that's going to be scrambling for par didn't gain much distance nice smooth flick here from rachel skipping it a little bit long but inside the circle for a birdie look Nine meters left. Tina with that really touchy backhand line. Catches the last tree to beat and it Pretty friendly kick though. Any scrambling. Does well. Give herself a short putt for par. Nice soft approach there. Tina looked like she wanted it, but a bit low. Does hit the koozie and stays really close for a tap in. Rachel for her birdie. First birdie of the day on this hole. Just a little left though. Olivia just doesn't extend fully into the chains and clearly frustrated with that miss. It's going to be her first bogey of the back nine. Solid par there from Yenny. Routine tap in par here for Rachel. She is methodic with her routine though, which is very smart. Even on these shorties, just taking time to make sure it's right in the heart. Perfectly done. Frustrating bogey for Olivia, pars for the rest. Well, 15 par four, 161 meters. Uphill off the tee, you gotta move left to right. Then try to work yourself through this tight double mando. That's about just 40 meters to the basket or so. You see it, gotta get through here. And the green's pretty open. There is OB on that right side and deep, but doesn't come into play too often on the deep side. Nice change this year. 
really fun par four. It is playing as the most difficult hole on the course today at 5.56 for the FPO, so playing much more like a par five than a par four. Decent looking tee shot there. Kenya with a high shot. Does have the nose up, so it's going to come back to the fairway, but a little bit pinched on the right side. Nice looking turnover line from Olivia. She's up there on the hill. In good position. Tina just trying to line herself up nicely with the Mando gap. And she does so well. Annie just trying to pitch it up to the mouth of the gap. Olivia jump putting herself up towards the Mandos. Rachel, oh, just trying to pitch up a forehand, but it gets caught up on those trees, and oh, early release from Yenny. Didn't miss the Mando, but did miss the line. Dina you know, with a nice little touchy up shot slides up into circle one. Using that distortion. Super popular approach disc from Prodigy. Rachel here hitting another early tree. So, first signs of uh, struggle here from Rachel on the round. She did start with that bogey, but it's been smooth sailing since then. Looks like she gets herself through the gap and up into the open, but not quite in putting range. So, could be a pretty big number here for Rachel. Oh, interesting reaction there from Olivia. It skipped up onto the top of the pole, that, that OB stake, and stayed safe, luckily. Annie with a touchy forehand approach, executes it nicely inside the circle from the looks of it. Rachel puts it close. Olivia here. Circle's edge. Another great putt from her. Gets her par. Even still on the back nine. Oh, didn't come out too clean from Yenny. Just did right side low. Tina continuing that par streak. Still two down for the round after that hot front nine. She's trying to get herself up on that podium, battling for the second place position. Double bogey from Yenny, unfortunately, and she's starting to slip off that podium. From the looks of it, triple bogey from Rachel, back to even for the round. And only three strokes over Tina at the moment, so that big swing there. What? Are you kidding going me? On? Holy cow, Eagle! Nick Lass! What just happened? 80. Going to harp. This is looking really good. Going in? Oh, oh my whoa, gosh! Whoa, whoa, whoa! Within even 30 meters. It's giving it a chance. Get no it! Oh, he way. did it! What a no highlight putt! 
Uh, another <laughs> little showmanship. <laughs> so cool. Thank you for that. Hole 16, par 3, 81 meters. Uphill, so playing closer to 100. Nothing really in the way here. Can be a windy spot, but hasn't been too bad this weekend, luckily. One of those holes that you really want to get birdie on. Third easiest on the course, 2.78 average. Do you have just one birdie on the day so far from Silva Sarinen? who is just shredding it up. Dina does a great job putting that close. Signature Explorer here for Olivia. Nice one. Slides up to the circle. Yenny with a low line, overstable driver, getting great skips and slide, and she's in the circle as well. Rachel. Big Heiser skips it up right there. Park job. Beautiful line from her. That's going to be another birdie. Solid bounce back after the struggles there on 16. Yeah. Olivia in there for par. Birdie, trying to keep in the hunt here. Very nicely done. Moving to three down for the round and one under on the back nine. Doing everything she can to put pressure on Rachel. Any with another missed putt. So we won't see the star frame, but three out of four ain't bad. Great birdies from the rest of the card here. Rachel's absolute tap in. Keeping that lead at three with two to play. Gonna be an exciting finish coming down the stretch here. Hole 17, lots of score separation but possible here. 183 meters downhill, super tight gap. Playing as a par five for the FPO field. You want your drive to get up here past these trees if possible. Then the hole starts to wind a little bit back. Pretty strong slope right to left. OB on the left and right side. Doesn't come into play too much on the right couple trees to beat including this one here on the left that you see and then a pretty cluttery green with a drop off I'm gonna put it as close as you can or you can be obstructed on the back side or right side is really hard to make a putt too this one brought to you by disc golf stream you saw that exciting commercial there just before this and laced by Tina that is just absolutely perfect right down the middle all the way clutch tee shot here doing everything she can at this moment to make Rachel sweat a little bit Olivia with an early kick left and that goes OB that's kind of the worst case scenario pretty common result though important tee shot here from Rachel and she smooths it through the gap with the forehand skips it into a good position kind of Got that tree in her way, but she's got all the options. A really solid standstill game. Yenny with a good looking drive here, and she unfortunately kicks left. Does stay safe, luckily. Just slightly out of position over there on the left. Good looking drive. Not the worst kick. 
Olivia's going to play it down this left side path, OB all the way, and try to get it to come back right at the end. Does get back into play, but not a lot of distance. I have to go back to the forehand here. Throwing four after the OB stroke. Gets up there. Still some work left. It's gonna be a big number from Olivia here. Most likely. Rachel with an important second shot here. And does very well. Gonna have a about 50 meters left to the basket. Tina putting a move on this, but it catches a tree and kicks left. She was really thirsty for that eagle, which would have really tightened things up, but did unfortunately hit that tree. Looking focused. This would be the biggest win of her career. Yenny. Good looking shot. Getting some good distance and keeping it on the fairway. Olivia hung up on the right side. This one from Rachel. Puts her up on the green. Averaging right at par today, this hole. Did have an eagle from Silva Sarinen who is just in flames and doing everything she can to try to Pull off a crazy chase card win. And he's up shot. Looking good. Tina pitches up. Oh yeah. Nice putt there to get her bogey save. Solid finish after some early struggles on the hole from Olivia. And he's putt just a little high. She can't believe it. She's been a little bit off on the green overall. Solid play otherwise. Dina taps in for par. Great score separation on this hole, 33% birdie or better, 33% bogey or worse. Any frustrated there, taps in for her par. So here we are, hole 18, it all comes down to this. Rachel with a three stroke advantage. And it's just a 70 meter touchy downhill island hole. Can see a lot of score separation, but with that three stroke lead, she's gonna need to, uh, Tina's gonna have to put it close and hope that Rachel slips up pretty heavy. This one averaging at 3.56 on the day. No birdies yet. There, hits the island with her distortion, and now it's she's done everything she can. It's out of her hands. Let's see if Rachel can get this one inbounds. And she does, and that's gonna secure her victory. Very well played from Rachel Turton all throughout the weekend. Annie here with the backhand. Taking the big high hyzer and unfortunately skips out there. She'll have to head to the drop zone. Olivia taking a harp forehand, putting a great move on this. Oh, just a little too wide. Looked really good, but didn't have the stability to get back in time. She'll also have to 
Head to the drop zone now. Dina here for the birdie. Just a little low, but with that par, she will secure second place by just one stroke over Silva Sarinen. Rachel can lay it up for the easy win. Silva shot five down on the day, including that eagle on 17. Fighting from the chase card up to the podium. Well played from her. Tap in bogey, bogeys for Olivia and Yeni. And Rachel Turton, your Turku Open 2023 champion. Huge congratulations to her. Ladies and gentlemen, Turku Open, Women's Open Division champion, Rachel Turton. Nico Wiekman, tournament director and tour director. Giving her the trophy. Another great victory this season from Rachel Turton. There you see the final results. Three stroke win. Tina taking that second place. And Silva rounding out the podium after a very hot final round. Another European Pro Tour event in the books been an incredibly exciting season. We do have one more regular season event at the legendary Jarva disc golf course in Stockholm, Sweden. That's coming up soon. Got a lot of talent there and just a legendary property. One of the most beautiful courses you'll ever see. Huge thanks again to MDG Media and all the tour partners. Also, congratulations to Rachel and thank you very much for joining me for the first two rounds in the booth. Another excellent victory and another great production here on MDG Media. Thank you all and we'll see you again soon.